working and prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to my front yard. Hopefully it'll be quiet. If not, I'll just mute and do a voiceover. But today I am finally getting around to talking about mulberry leaf tea. Yes, extremely medicinal. Same properties of green tea without caffeine. It's all natural. It's anti-inflammatory. It helps level out sugar for type 2 diabetics and many other things, which I will go into detail in the shed once I am done with this. So, let's scoot you closer and show you how to harvest them. Now, you can use the white mulberry, which I'm using, the red mulberry, or the black mulberry. They all work the same. What you're going to do is you want to look for good, healthy leaves and snip the leaf off right where the stem starts. See? Leave the stems. And I have my harvest bag on the bottom of my tripod. You just look for good, healthy, green leaves. And of course, I'll wash them when I get back to where the shed's at. But see, that's all you do is snip them right where the stem starts and I will bring you back once I am done see you here at the wall okay welcome back to the shed of many names I have the mulberry leaves here I picked way more than I thought I did and I still really didn't make a dent at all on the limbs that I'm going to end up trimming off to make the tree grow better so i have many more leaves to harvest now i have washed and um dried the leaves very well look i got a big old batch of them now as i said i'm going to dehydrate mine <clears throat> on lower heat for a longer time if you have a, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have a, um, a screen to dry items on, you can dry them that way as well. Just every couple hours or so, make sure that you move them around so they will dry evenly. And also I wanted to say, you can harvest the young tips like that one those are usable as well now not only can you make tea with these leaves they are edible as well the younger leaves you can saute them you can put them in soups you name it they're edible y'all also you steam them just a little bit so they get pliable the bigger leaves it would be fun, and I might just try it. But the bigger leaves, if you steam them just a little bit, you can substitute them for grape leaves to make domas as well. I didn't know that, so even I learned new things. So what I'm going to do is take one of my trays out. And I'm just going to lay them out. I'm not worried about a few little bug holes. That's not going to help hurt at all. Now, extremely wonderful to help type 2 diabetes. It, the leaves help to... Um, manage insulin and your sugar in your body also extremely good for um, 
inflammation. It will reduce inflammation. And and a little bit of pain relief, but that comes because of the inflammation being um, relieved. Um, also, I'm trying to remember everything. There's so many wonderful things. They have been used for centuries, centuries, to for good health. And, of course, silkworms. Also, uh, extremely good for heart and cardiovascular health. It lowers triglycerides and LDLs and cholesterol, and I could just keep on going. It's, it's amazing the medicinal benefits of these wonderful leaves. And like I said, it's a green tea substitute so if you cannot have caffeine these are caffeine free and of course whoop you're not going nowhere uh mulberries have the tea has been used for centuries and for the longest and they still are are used to feed silkworms so that they will spin their cocoons and they can harvest the silk from the cocoons. And yeah, I put mine on a little thick. Alright, see? Here's a bad spot. See that little rust spot there? I just want to take that spot off so I don't lose a whole lot of leaf surface area. Alright, I'm going to keep loading the trays and I'll bring you back because I'm going to have a whole lot of trays. Looks like I'm going to have a whole lot of trays built. Bring you back here in a little bit. Okay, six trays full. Thankful for this. This is the beginning of this year's batch. Now, as you can see, I have big leaves. I have little leaves. I have tips as well. They all are in here. Main thing is if you have round trays, keep that center hole open so that air can flow through. The reason I take the uh, make sure the stems are off, it's easier to break up once it's dry. Um, okay, ant, don't know where you come from, but see these would be perfect for making domas. They can get bigger too. The leaves I have some big ones now. Another thing you can do, and don't worry about it one bit, is you, if your leaves are too big for your tray, you can break them up, cut them up, or rip them up just a little bit. And that way you can make it to where it'll fit on your tray. Now what I'm fixing to do is put it on my um, base. Hold on a minute, let me get my dehydrator base. Okay, I have it on the base. I'm blessed to have this temperature and time controlled uh, dehydrator. I love this brand of dehydrators. It's a Presto Dehydro. Excellent, excellent dehydrator. Love how it works. And I can't thank Lawrence enough for donating the money so I can get this one. Alright, with that being said, I'm going to dehydrate these at 125 for about 8 hours. See how that goes. If they are all dry, that's fine. If not, I will cut it back on and I will let y'all know how long it goes for. 
but eight hours should be plenty of time. You do not want to over dehydrate them. And yes, you can burn things in the dehydrator. I'm speaking from experience from uh, my early days of dehydrating. But like I said, eight hours at 125 or if you don't have the temperature and time control dehydrator, just keep keep an eye on your dehydrator and once they are dry, then you will cut it off, let them get acclimated and I will bring you back once they are dehydrated and show you how to do them as well as we will talk about the brewing process which is not hard to do all right see y'all after a while okay welcome back the leaves are dried i let them dry for it was nine hours i wanted to make sure that they were going to be dry because i had so many in my trays and all we're going to do is dump them that's what you want to hear. Whoops. You want to hear that. But you want to hear dry. All right, I'm going to do two trays at a time. And all you're going to do is let me move the camera so you can actually see. Just crunch them down. You don't want to powder them, but you want them small enough that they will fit into, if you use a tea ball, or if you use a, um, what are those called? Like the French press. And you can use it in a French press as well. But look how beautiful and vibrant green they are. Now the, some of the veins will feel like little stems. Don't worry about that. Just break them up. And see this will be one tea that Junior can have because it's caffeine free now. He's having to live a caffeine free life now because of medicine. And I ended up with one, two, three, six trays. So this is a really good start to the harvest this year. Alright, me and that funnel. Let's move that so it don't happen again. But hey. And you want to hear that crunch. That means they are definitely dry. And you're just going to keep rolling them in your hands and your fingers and breaking them down into smaller pieces. Like I said, you don't want to just powder them unless you want to make your tea that way. Drinking it powdered up is not going to hurt one bit either. And you'll really get all the benefits of it. All right, I'm going to keep working this and I will bring you back once I have it all processed. See you here in a bit. Okay, I got them processed down quite a bit. I could still break it up some more, but that's okay. I'm fine with the way it is now. And this is a half a gallon jar. You could use um, vacuum seal bags. I, I definitely would say if you wanted to do long term, I would do mylar bags. So, I got to be careful because I got the fan on. 
even at night, it's it's brutally humid here. Oh, that's a pretty good little amount so far from just six trays. Make sure that you get it all. Don't waste any of this amazing, amazing tea. Now, of course, I will have more information, medicinal information, in the description box below. Okay. Oh, it's hot in here. And this is why... I tell you, make sure that your workspace is clean and sanitized. That way, you can scoop up any escapees. So, I plan on harvesting more leaves when we get back. So, let's see, how many cups did I end up with? Five cups. Five cups of mulberry leaf tea. Now, I'm going to tell you now, these leaves look like a lot of different other leaves. It looks kind of like stinging nettle. It resembles, um, oh, what's the other one? Dried spinach. So, always label your jars. Or your bags or your containers. Mulberry leaf tea. And I made this 723. Now, it's easy to brew this tea. You cannot go wrong. It's one tablespoon. Hold on. One tablespoon to one cup of very hot simmering or close to boiling water. Now if you use a French press, know how many cups of water you're going to use. Put your tablespoon tablespoons per cup into the French press or in a tea ball. It holds one tablespoon, so that's automatically one cup of very hot water. When you steep it, let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes. Try to cover it. If you're using a tea ball in a cup, use a saucer. That's the old way of doing it. Put a saucer on top of your cup so that way the medicinal benefits do not evaporate with the steam. In a French press, y'all might be going to put the top back on anyway. So, let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes. And then enjoy sweeten with honey or however you like it. Simple, easy. Anybody can do this, y'all. You can. Just have to believe in yourself and have mulberry trees. Now. These are white mulberry leaves. There are red mulberry trees and black mulberry trees. They're all the same medicinally. Any other ones? I haven't read anything about using them. So stick with the, either the white, the red, or the black mulberry trees. Simple, easy, and yes, you can do it. All you need is either a drying screen or a dehydrator and you can do it and have your own green tea substitute yes this is a substitute for green tea it works the same medicinally as green tea without caffeine for those who cannot have caffeine 
I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Y'all continue to stock up your pantries with food that will nourish and sustain you. And different teas and coffee. Because I guarantee you, you will get sick and tired of drinking just plain water. To stock up on medicine that will heal you, your protection, as well as the bare essentials, because you're going to need it all. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. May you each be blessed. I'll see you soon. Hoot hoot.